Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we will unpack the ongoing debate surrounding former President Donald Trump's remarks about Aurora, Colorado. This discussion raises important questions about the role of sensationalism in political rhetoric and its impact on local communities. The controversy began when Trump took a small issue involving crime in an Aurora apartment complex and exaggerated it into a narrative that painted the entire city as overrun by gangs. Despite this portrayal, local authorities, including the governor of Colorado, Jared Polis, have refuted Trump's claims. Polis highlighted that the crime in Aurora has been on the decline over the last two years, largely due to law enforcement investments and efforts to address issues like auto theft. Governor Polis emphasized that the real issue in Aurora wasn't gang-related as Trump suggested but rather due to absentee landlords allowing buildings to deteriorate, which led to unsanitary living conditions. A particular building was closed as a result, unrelated to any broader criminal activity. Polis pointed out that Trump's visit to Aurora was superficial, he only attended an event at a hotel and left, missing an opportunity to genuinely understand the city and its challenges. Another key issue discussed was immigration, as Aurora has seen a significant influx of Venezuelan migrants. Polis expressed optimism about Vice President Kamala Harris' border security plan, which aims to streamline legal work processes and secure the border. He criticized Trump for blocking bipartisan efforts to address immigration reform in the past. Trump's attacks on Governor Polis were not unique. Similar derogatory comments have been aimed at other political figures, including Republican governors like Brian Kemp of Georgia. Despite these personal attacks, Polis remains focused on promoting the strengths of Aurora, a city he describes as a great place to live, work, and raise a family. In conclusion, while Trump's rhetoric has sparked controversy and fear, the facts paint a very different picture of Aurora and its governance. It is essential to approach political claims with a critical eye, separating truth from exaggeration, and to support solutions that truly address local and national issues. Thank you for joining us in this discussion.